of Jesus Christ is unprecedented. I, I, I am actually Canadian. I don't, I, I'm not American at all. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't even come here until about five or six years ago. I, the first time I came, I was like 38 or 39 years old. Who? And I've been down about 30, 40 times since. Just, uh, and I've done about 20, all those were missionary journeys. Me and my family have been in the van, <laughs> which is five kids, uh, when my baby was born, the infant, there was five of them in the van, and we would drive between Canada and Texas, and we did that four times, and we would be on the road for five or six weeks and saw miracles breaking out everywhere we went, and that's why we went, and God always provided. But in America, when I come here, I'm telling you, it's fertile ground, and you guys are the ones who send me to the world. It messes me up. I'm like, I'm Canadian. But the Canadians are not sending me to the nations, the Americans are. You got see that speaks to me about who you are. You've learned to, to actually sow into the kingdom and you're reaping and harvest not just in your own nation, but in the nations. Amen? Amen. I've been to 18 nations in two years. And I'll be in about five or six more by the end of the year. And and every nation we go to. Uh, mighty miracles take place. I was in France two years ago during the terrorist attack. I landed there the day of the terrorist attack, was preaching in, a, in an apartment in Paris about eight blocks away on the same day where they busted in and shot down a terrorist. Same day. This is like four days after they killed 113. There were guys all through the street subway systems with machine guns, and we were there preaching the gospel and saw the glory come down and many people were transformed by the gospel. We went to Austria. I've been to Austria three times. Only three times. But I've actually ministered to probably 4,000 people those three times that I've gone. Almost every state. And it was the Americans who sent us there. Are you hearing me? I preached in every, almost every state but one in Australia. And the last time I was there, you want to hear? <laughs> I preached the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, you know, I mean, Jesus came and died on the cross. Can we get that? Let's get the gospel out there right now. He died for your sins, which were many. You were born in them. You can't even escape them. Your mind can't even find a way out. And that's why you needed the Savior. Jesus came to break the power of sin, which was a curse on your life, and to bring the blessing, which is freedom from sin. He came to set you free. And when you enter into Christ, you enter into a new life, a new day. And it begins the process of cleansing the old nature, the renewal of the mind. So day by day as you're in Christ, you talk about inner healing. That's what inner healing is. Inner healing is all about cleansing the old mindsets so that you can walk in the fullness and abundance of the gospel that Jesus Christ has in store. And the blessings of God are manifold, which means many. He has many blessings for you. So much that he has in store for you that most of you can't even conceive it or accept it. But he has more in store for you than you can even dream of. Yes. Oh, yes. Prosperity is like, my house is blessed, my cupboards are blessed, my children are blessed. There's no mental illness, there's no sickness. All these things are in, in, in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy 28. If you will obey, these things will come upon you. And in Christ, it becomes a possibility. Because in Christ, the grace of God begins to shift you into his nature so that you're able to obey what you once couldn't. And see, religion is just a decoy. What religion tries to do is institute the law and get you to do right and wrong. Right, right and not wrong. But because you don't have any power of it, uh, you live it like chained up. In fear because you have not been able to accomplish what you in your heart know is right. And Jesus came and he enabled you to do it. His nature becomes your nature when you turn to him. 